Hey everyone, this is James with Cowboy Cricket Farms, and today we're going to do a 10 minute how to farm crickets summary. So I've had a lot of people ask for something that's not almost six hours long uh, of how to farm crickets. Now, if you want to see the whole thing, go down to the description below. You'll see all eight parts of my previous How to Farm Cricket series. If you're interested in really learning the process, hands-on, we do offer a How to Farm Crickets class. You fly out here, it's a six to eight hour course, and you'll learn everything you need to know to replicate our process here. So I'll also put a little link in the description below to a short article. Now, let's go to the crickets. Up to the cricket farm. Okay, so lighting sucks in here, and I still don't have a mic yet, so you're dealing with my phone uh, AV. We're going to cover three basic things today. Life cycle of the cricket, how to maintain them, the equipment that you need, all of this in less than 10 minutes. So let's get to it. Okay, equipment that you need. Pretty simple stuff. So we have a small facility here. It's 20 by 20, so do the math. That's 400 square feet. Uh, we've got a little space heater, a dehumidifier, and a fan. Uh, we used to have a humidifier in here as well, but we find that we can actually keep the humidity plenty high. It's just getting it down. Um, so this dehumidifier, made by Hisense, you can get this at Home Depot. Little space heater, same thing, Home Depot, Lowe's. Big old fan, just to blow some air around. Um, all together, talking like 300 bucks for all that. It's not too bad. Okay, life cycle of the Cricut. You can see we've got a batch of pinheads here. See them right there? Tiny little guys. It takes about 11 days from the time that the eggs are laid to the time they hatch. They hatch in these ones. You can get a few thousand eggs in each one of these bins. Okay, so they go out of here into their forever home. We'll talk about this soon, how to set this up. But uh, basically, you can see here we've got a bunch of juvenile crickets. As they get older, they become adults. You can see the breeding tray in there. You can hear the chirping males. It's a little bit of basic cricket anatomy. Most of the crickets in here are females. You can tell because of their ovipositor, that one right in the middle. She's currently laying eggs right there. Okay, for our bin setup, this is a 20 gallon bin. We're gonna grab some egg cartons. If you've been collecting these at home, you're good to go. Uh, if not, you can find them on Amazon. Uh, you can find them well, anywhere you get egg cartons. Really. What we're gonna do is we're gonna stack these up. Uh, you're gonna have to experiment with whatever size your bins are, but these particular ones take eight egg trays across and then another five at the front to fill them up. So we've got them all stacked. We'll go like that. Now when we're doing this, now your egg trays have two different sides. There's the side that the egg would normally sit in and then the side that covers it, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to alternate those so that the flat and the egg parts go together and keep alternating them. It just makes for a much stronger structure. Uh, it also gives more room for the crickets to move around in. An adult cricket needs about two square centimeters on average and this gives us lots and lots of surface area which is what they want. Now that we have this set up, let's grab our uh, food and water and put that in there before we get some babies put in. So here we have our feed. This is a in-house blend that we've created. It's a proprietary feed. It's all organic, Montana-grown grains and grasses, super high quality stuff. If you'd like to get your hands on some of this, go ahead and check out the link in the description below. We just posted this. First time we're actually gonna offer this available to the public, um, but you can go ahead and get some of that to raise your own crickets. Also, we've got our, whoo, where'd it go? Bam, we got our sponges here. These guys are vegetable cellulose. Okay, again, you can just find these right on Amazon. You don't want the plastic ones. Okay, we want vegetable cellulose sponges. They come in many different kinds. These ones are like a Trader Joe's brand. And then for our lids, we're just using Pyrex container. Go ahead and get those wet. You're gonna place them right in there. That's gonna give our crickets our food and water. Now, uh, I'll cue up a little video that I shot earlier of how to actually get the crickets in there. 
and you can kind of see a demonstration. Again, if you want to see even more detail, uh, click in the link in the description below on how to take care of the babies. Okay, now let's talk about maintenance. As you can see, this bin here definitely needs some maintenance. They're almost out of water, their sponges are all nasty. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go in here, just dump out the grass that's gone in there. Same here, okay, get the sponges out, get that out. We're gonna go ahead and replace this. Okay, so now we have some of our Cowboy Cricket Farms proprietary feed, we're gonna put that down right there. Now let's go wash these sponges. Okay, so we have our old sponges here. Uh, they're all nasty. What we're gonna do is go ahead and just rinse them off in the sink here. Just try and get all this frass out, rehydrate the sponges, get any super loose old parts off. Now, an alternative that you may have seen in one of the other bins, just take a beer bottle, make sure it's super nice and cleaned out. Uh, it certainly makes for some fun work because you know you gotta, you gotta get the beer bottles first. And then uh, what you're gonna do is just put a cotton wick in it a uh, cotton t-shirt works fine. If you want to really do the right thing, you're going to want to use all organic, uh, non-dyed cotton. The reason is you don't want any pesticides in there, and uh, you also don't want any dyes or anything like that, right? We just want them to get water. Okay, so these are all nice and clean. If you want to see the way that we actually do it on a commercial scale, you can uh, check out the other just uh, video in the description below that shows more details. This is nasty, so we're going to get rid of this. Get these on a new one. Let's go do that now. We have our new sponges here. Uh, this is actually just a yogurt lid. So if you want to go a little bit cheap, there you go, or cottage cheese, whatever. If you want to uh, save some more money, just save your yogurt lids and stuff. Super great if you're just doing this at home. Go ahead and put this down right here. You can see that they're already chomping away on that food. And they're going to be up on the water here pretty soon as well, getting rehydrated. You can see the beer bottle method right there. Uh, basically, you can just throw the beer bottles into the dishwasher and uh, either hand wash or machine wash your rags. Uh, just try to stay away from any kind of detergents, make sure they get rinsed really well. And uh, fill up the beer bottle with water, stick the rag in it, you're good to go. By about seven weeks old or so, they'll be breeding and it'll be time for egg trays. So, this is a sphygnum peat moss. Uh, make sure it's sterilized. Uh, these are just some simple steel pie tins we got from Walmart. They're the cheapest ones at about 88 cents a piece. And then if we start moving this, you'll see it kind of comes to life. Lots and lots of crickets hiding out in the dirt here. You put this soil in here, make sure it's at least three quarters of an inch deep. That way their ovipositor can get all the way in there and lay the eggs. And then uh, once they've had about 24 hours of laying time, Go ahead and put in a new one, unless it's time to harvest. Put in a new one, take this, and we're gonna go ahead and just put it into a plastic bin like the ones you saw those. And about 11 days later, they'll hatch. So that's the whole life cycle. I'll just put this back in here for now because that actually needs a little bit more time. Okay, that is basically the whole thing, right? You got three basic life stages, uh, pinhead, Juvenile, adult, you can say egg in there as well. Uh, once eggs are laid, 11 days later they hatch. About seven weeks later, they're adults ready to breed. Once you've bred them, if you need to, then you're good to harvest. Uh, we harvest by freezing, just get them out of the bin. Take all that frass that's in there, the cricket poop, that's great for your garden, just throw it right in the garden, and uh, you're pretty much set. If you're gonna eat the crickets, again, freeze them, dehydrate them or fry them up. Uh, we do not recommend eating anything raw. Uh, if you're gonna feed them to your lizards and stuff, then just take them out of the bin, throw them in the cage, you're good to go. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, again, this is just a really short summary of how to do this whole thing in 10 minutes or less. So that's all I've got for you guys. Please, if you like this video, hit that like button. Please subscribe. We're trying to get past 1,000 subscribers right now. And, uh, you know, we'd really like your support. So, that's all I have for you today, friends. Until next time, stay chirpy, my friends. Bye. Three, two, one.